if there was any episode for some shit to go down, it would be this one. Episode title show slash evil intentions. I'm just going to assume it's Hermes, but I have no idea. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again. Episode 12 of Don Machi. Uh, last episode, we were able to finally get to safety. We reunited with Hestia, Eyes, Ryu. The entire squad is now together in floor 18. We're just waiting for the Loki Familia to clear out the Goliath before we can go back up safely. Um, so we're going to wait a couple of days on that. We're going to go see this new town with Eyes and Hestia. <laughs> I'm just so excited, especially with the title of this episode. Remember, guys... We are four episodes ahead of Patreon. If you guys want early access and full length, go check out the Patreon, always available down in the description. If you guys want to support me and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment down below. Don't forget to follow all my socials, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, at Dapper Darius. I appreciate you guys immensely, immensely. Let's hop into this. Um, Don Machi, episode 12. They, they, they gotta get their someone's gonna someone's gonna be forced to buy that you know supply and demand type shit because it's the only place you can yeah it's the only town it makes sense what is she looking at what is she trying to buy yeah re was the one who fucked you guys up hey re was right around the corner you better watch out <laughs> we got we got Bunch of strong women around here, especially eyes. You touch my man. What's going on? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pussy. What is that perfume? Yeah. It might be a little expensive to buy it here versus up top. <laughs> the maiden's necessity. As she's checking for sweat. Oh my god. Eyes is so fucking cute. It's crazy. We're all gonna take a bath. Mm, don't trust it. Bete is the one. He's one of the fastest adventures they have. He was just... He was just roasting in the other episode. Now he's on the fucking mid floor. Yeah, some stuff. <laughs> Bakugo's voice actor is such a good voice actor for me. He's so funny. Hermes. Oh. My. Maybe I was wrong about Hermes. Maybe I was. He's like my man Jiraiya. He's a man. I love the grandpa. <laughs> grandpa, especially with the whole eyes when she was asleep. But that's like... Obviously, they're men of culture. So I understand it. It's gonna take me like an hour to get back to normal anime watching mode, like and it's Ryu by herself. The most apologetic position you could be in immediately. Oh my god, it's like very understanding Ryu. <laughs> I'm like Jesus. Naruto is not like this. I, 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 yeah, she's picking a bunch of flowers as we come up to this area. Memorial would make sense of fall. Oh, wow. 
many fallen adventures, I'm guessing. Maybe someone she knew. I like the rusty swords. Oh, she's doing one for everyone. So she, we know she's an ex-adventurer. We know she's very powerful. We, she knows a lot of the mid floors. Wow. 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 すべてのものに報復した後、けれど。セイ。わお。しまって、すみません。あ、そ、そんな。ジェフリーナイスハビングサムモーバックストーリーな。恥知らせて横暴なエルフということです。クラネルさんの信用を裏切ってしまうことに
He's detecting his Nen. He's like using Zetsu. Use N. Come on. Nice. Wow. Boom. Roundhouse kick right in his fucking... I'm not going to say Eyes taught us that, but Eyes has definitely roundhouse kicked us a lot. They swore to never use their divine powers, right? I would be reaching out with so much love and embrace. I was gonna be heated that I got blue balled, but I forgot I'm watching the last episode of season one right after this, so I'm fine with it. Next episode is gonna be fire. It's called The Story of a Familia with who knows? Okay, so I, I actually, there's actually a lot that happened this episode. Wow. Um, I'm probably mm, curious. So we're in Livira, which is a very, I don't wanna say scam artist, because they're not scamming you. It it's essentially is, but it's just the basic premise of supply and demand they're gonna charge you a million valleys for a hotel room but you're gonna be like oh fuck no i'm not doing that they're like all right we'll go to the other hotel you're like shit there really is no other hotel it's like they they spent they do the majority of their time in this floor camping in the forest you know doing whatever they can but if they're forced to buy a backpack like uh, lily ruka was then you know they have to spend the money or as you have people like hestia who just wants the perfume which i'm glad played like a little bit of route full circle came back to help saving her in the end but i think easily that bath scene might have been one of my favorite scenes in any anime ever and i i can't i i can't tell you guys the reason why you know i mean it, it you wouldn't believe me no, I mean, no, I mean, it was just, it was just fantastic. You know, the animation, the, the, I, I, yeah, it was, it was really good. It was really, really good. <laughs> but I love the item that Moldo had, the one that made him invisible. I, w I wonder why that's called Hades Helm or whatever it was called, because uh, Hades Hat or whatever. Because Hades, from what I know in lore, wasn't one to be known to be invisible or camouflage. That's just interesting to me. Which someone also commented uh, a couple episodes ago that it's so ironic that Hestia looks how she looks in the show because she is technically older than Zeus, Poseidon, Hades, some of the like the big like she's older than the big three which are Hades, Zeus, and Poseidon and a lot of the gods. She's one of the oldest gods. Um, if I remember correctly, was it what was his name? Titan? Because Titan, I don't know if it was Titan and Hestia, but somebody gave birth to the majority of the gods and then tried to eat them all if I remember my myths and legends back in class correctly. And then was it Zeus who, like, I forgot the mom. The mom of Zeus and all those babies wanted Zeus to get away, I'm pretty sure. So she disguised him as a rock, and the Titan, the dad, ate the rock instead of Zeus. So Zeus went off, got powerful, came back, beat Titan's ass, freed everyone. So that's how Zeus became the new, like, dude. But I wonder where Hestia does fit in that. That's interesting. I'm curious. I, I, I definitely, like, that's the thing about something you're passionate about you know like i'm passionate about stories and anime and different worlds and shit like that and, and immersing myself in there so that's one thing that's so good about this it makes you want to learn lore about other things you know like same thing like certain anime will make me want to learn about video games history this that and the other you know so i you know volleyball for a great example i've i've watched so many volleyball like instagram videos and youtube videos on like amazing sets and like rolling thunders in real life thanks to anime so it's just like that's awesome you know i love that i love the fight at the end i, I we cut off um wealth's thing so i'm so curious what's gonna happen with that i know that's gonna play a big role i know it is what the fuck was that at the end what is going on hestia almost unleashed her divine powers why is hermes being a dick so many questions that I think we'll get answered next episode. I'm about to go watch it right now. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. Let me know what you thought down below. I don't know why I keep doing this with my pen. Mm, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.